Hi, I'm Linda from Barlatti's Body Blitz. Welcome to Low High Micro ISO. For today's workout, you will need a resistance loop. I'm using a heavy tension loop. We'll be using it mainly for lower body. You can do it without, or if you have a Pilates band, a long band, you can tie it into a loop. And just make sure that it's small enough to give you some really good tension. We will also be using light hand weights and slightly heavier hand weights. So we'll be doing a biceps and a triceps exercise. So I'm using my one kilo, which is just over two pounds for my triceps, and my two kilo, which is just over four pounds for my biceps. You don't want to go too heavy because with these micro ISO movements, the burn is real. Now for the last exercise for the lower body, we will also be using a step bench to elevate our back leg. So you don't have to use a step. You can use maybe a sofa, a chair. I'm using something a little bit lower because I want to be able to use my band. If you end up with your leg too high, you'll probably find that the band will end up rolling up. So maybe use something a bit lower or use nothing at all. We're gonna get straight into it with some really simple to follow warm up exercises. I'm going to put my band on straight away and I'm going to put it underneath my knees to begin with and I'm always going to keep some tension on that band. So even when you come into a neutral position, you wanna be wide enough to have tension, okay? And that way we'll also stop it from rolling up. So we're gonna start off with our knees nice and soft, our shoulders down and back, our tummies in, and all we're doing is stepping side to side. Tapping in the center, tap, tapping. So you're never coming up out of that bent leg position and you're driving the weight into the heels. Your arms are strong forward and back and you're trying to get that really wide step so you're starting to feel your outer thighs are ready. A few more like this and we're gonna walk it back and forth. Four, three, two, one. So just go forward and forward and back and back. Slight angle changes and back and back. Forward, forward, back and back. Forward, forward, back and back. Three more like this. Maybe a bit wider now. Two more. Maybe a little bit lower as you get warmer. Last one. Back and back. Nice job. Now come into a more narrow position and all we're doing is stepping back and in, back and in. Now because the band is under the knees for the moment, it's going to curl up a little bit behind the knee, but as long as it doesn't kind of Go all the way up your thighs. Don't worry about it too much because we'll need it in this position for the first exercise grouping. Just four more and three. That's why it's always good to wear longer leggings so it doesn't actually hurt when the band rolls up. Okay, now we're going to go into the first exercise grouping. So we're doing a wide plie. I want the band underneath the knees and we're going to try and get our legs really turned out, so you, to your point of turnout, maybe it can be all the way to the side. Tummies are in and you're coming down low and you're thinking about pushing your knees towards the back and your inner thighs slightly to the front. So how you do that is by squeezing your glutes and slightly tucking your hips forward. Okay, so we're in this position now and we're just doing tiny micro bounces but in a second, I'm going to change that rep. So I want you to really get to this point where you're comfortable. You can stay here a little while, okay? And if you find you're a bit unbalanced here, no harm in taking a chair and just holding on either with one hand or having it in front of you like this, okay? This is all about the legs, not so much about the balance. Four more like this, three, two, one. Now from this point where we already bent, we're already contracted. We're already pushing our knees to the back and our hips to the front. We're gonna go down for three. One, two, three. Now we're holding for three, two, three. Then from here, push back, two, three. Hold for another, two, three. And then come up, two, three. So it's always three counts and then you're never fully coming up, okay? Again, one, two, three, maybe lower this time. Hold, two, three, push back, two, three, hold for another, two, three, up, two, three. So it's very simple, down, down, down. You need to just let it burn, two, three, push, two, three, hold and push everything, two, three, 
up to three. So keep breathing. Maybe each time go a little bit lower. Back, two, three. Hold it. Up, two, three. Maybe as you get warmer, you walk your feet out further. Back. It doesn't matter so much what you're doing with your hands. Up, two, three. Come on. Stay down there. It's supposed to shake after a little while. Back, two, three. Hold and push those hips forward. Up, two, three. Come on, you can do it. Two, three. Hold it. Back, two, three. Your weight is in the heels here, okay? Try and wiggle your toes to make sure that you're keeping that weight in the heels. Ooh, breathe, breathe. Back, two, three. Hold, two, three. Up, two, three. Squeeze those glutes, come on. Two, three. Are you shaking yet? Come on, I'm shaking. Two, three. You might not be able to see it on the camera, but I'm starting to really quiver. But I'm not giving up because I know where that change happens is where that burn is so bad that you want to come out of it, but then you don't come out of it, okay? Up, two, three. So stay in it with me. One, two, three. If you need to take a micro break, do it. But if you can stay with me, please, please, please. Up, two, three. And I'm finding myself wanting to tip forward. Don't do it. Stay upright. Use your core. Back, two, three. Hold, two, three. Up, two, three. Okay, two more. That's it. Down, two, three. Come on. I know I'm being extra mean here, but inner thighs is a hard one to target. Up, two, three. This is the last set like this with this rep pattern. Back, two, three. Come on. One, two, three. Up, two, three. Maybe shake it a little bit. Maybe wiggle your butt. Deep breath in through the nose. Deep breath out through the mouth. Come back into position. Maybe you need to adjust. Stay down, stay down, and all we're doing is pushing back, back and back. Come on, we're nearly done with this one. <sighs> Breathe with me. If you need to take off the band, take it off. If you need to shut your eyes, if you need to swear at me, do whatever it takes. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Come up, shake it out. Deep breath, breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. Come back down. All we're doing is tiny, minute pulses. Tiny, minute. Weight is in the heels. Tiny, minute pulses. We're nearly done with this. Come on. Do whatever you need to to get through it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and up. Nice job. So just because I'm so super generous. I'm going to let you do an interval exercise in between before we go into the ISO, um, micro ISO for a different exercise, okay? I hope that makes sense. So just come up and down, up and down into that calf raise. So I've got my feet turned out and I'm coming up onto my big and second toe and I am squeezing my calves. I am also keeping my legs wide enough so that I do feel a little bit of engagement in all my outer side of my leg, okay? Up and down, up and down. So, this is tough. The burn is already starting to creep into those calves, but it's definitely easier than what we just did. And if you're about to fall over like I just did, maybe ballet arms. <laughs> that always helps. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one. Now I want to start leaning forward and still keeping that same pulse. So we're going to come up, then we're going to tip forward with our upper body, keeping that pulse, and then we're going to come back up. And this burns like crazy, so we're only doing four sets. Come forward, keep that pulse up. Oh my goodness. And if you need to bring your legs in further, or closer together, do it forward. Come back up. Last time, come on people. I'm dying with you. Forward and come back up. Mm, 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 mm. 
Get your step and we're going to put it behind us. I'm going to show you on an angle actually, first of all. So the back leg is going to be up on the step and you want to make sure the band is behind your knee so it's nice and comfortable. We're going to be doing forward leaning lunges. So the back leg is wide. You're not in front of each other with those feet. You're side by side so there's stretch sideways as well as front ways. We're going to come down like this, okay? So just find a position with that band to make it comfortable. Deep breath in. This one's going to burn, but I'm promising you less reps because we're doing one leg at a time. Yes, that was me stalling. So hinge forward with your flat back, your tummy's in. Make sure your hip bones are turned forward. Then just come down and up, down and up. Use these first couple to adjust. Adjust your feet so that your knee's behind your toe and you're feeling the burn mainly in this butt cheek, okay? The butt cheek of the leg that's on the floor. Two more like this. Last one, now we're going down for three. One, two, three. You're gonna hold, two, three. You're gonna pulse, two, three. You're gonna come up, two, three. Yes, one, two, three. Hold, two, three. Then pulse, two, three. Up, two, three. Never fully up, down, two, three. Hold, two, three. Pulse, two, three. Up, two, three. Keep the weight in the heels. Hold, pulse, up. This is so wobbly because I'm so fatigued from doing all of these ankle weight workouts the last few days, up two, three. So this is absolute torture for me. Hold two, three. Pulse two, three. Up two, three. You, here's what it looks like on the ground. Down two, three. Hold two, three. Pulse two, three. Up two, three. So you can do that. Or you can do it without the loop. Hold, two, three. Pulse, two, three. Up, two, three. Last time. Hold, two, three. Pulse, two, three. Up, two, three. Now shake it out for a second. It's gonna change so I can actually see you. We're not done. Deep breath in through the nose. Deep breath out through the mouth. Come down and pulse, pulse, pulse. Come on, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, come up, maybe shake, maybe do something to get rid of that lactic acid. Breathe in through the nose, breathe out through the mouth, come down and just hold. Tummies are in. Glutes are towards the back wall. Weight is in the heel. There's tension this way as well as this way. Just hold, come on. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Do I wanna be nice and give you an interval before we go to the other side? No, sorry, not sorry. Other leg is up. The band, again, you want to position it in such a way that it doesn't cut into you. You want tension this way so your legs are further apart. It will also give you more stability and all we're doing is coming down and up for the first few. Down and up, down and up. So make sure you really think about keeping your back flat. Don't round down like this. Don't hunch your shoulders. Relax the upper body. Two more like this and then we're going to start our reps. Last one, so it's down two, three, hold two, three, pulse two, three, up two, three, never fully up. Down two, three, hold two, three, pulse two, three, up two, three. Come on, don't lose attention on the up. 
It's so tempting. Come on. One, two, three. Pulse. Two, three. Up. Two, three. This glute has all the work. Hold and breathe. Come on, tiny micro pulse. Up. Two, three. You can do it. I believe in you. After this, we're done with legs. Pulse. Two, three. Up. Two, three. Three. You are shaping your muscle right now. One, two, three. Pulse. Two, three. Up, two, three. This will change the shape of your muscle. So don't quit, please. Even if you put your leg on the ground. Last one. Two, three. Hold. Two, three. Pulse. Two, three. Up, two, three. Oh my goodness. Shake, shake. We're not done. <sighs> Leg back on. I'm just going to go down and pulse. So deep breath in through the nose. Deep breath out and <sighs> lower it. Flat back. Pulse. And pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come up. Oh my goodness, oh, mainly this one, last little bit, come back on, make sure you're not cheating by bringing those legs closer, deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth, low and hold, come on just hold it, hold it, hold it, hold eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, we're going to keep our band just because we can, and we're going to pick up our hand weights. And guess how nice I am. I'm gonna keep the lower body engaged while we're doing our upper body. So I want you to bring your knees out, your heels together, and just stay in this kind of low position. Your tummies are in, your shoulders are down and back. Make sure they're nice and down and back, and our hands are going to be slightly in front and our elbows are into our waist. Okay, so just do biceps curls all the way up and down. Holding that lower body static, doesn't have to be super low, but there has to be tension on the band, okay? Breathe in as it goes down and out as it comes up. A few more like this, and then we're going to start with our lovely reps that we love so, so much. Come on, you can do it. Four. Maybe lower, three, and two, and one. So we're gonna start from the bottom, but we're already gonna be under tension here. And we're gonna come up, two, three. Now squeeze that way towards your shoulder, two, three. Then pulse in for three. Then come down, two, three. So now we're gonna start a little bit higher. Up, two, three, squeeze in two, three, pulse, two, three, come down, two, three. Now I want your elbows away further, in, two, three. Push it towards you and hold, two, three. Now pulse, two, three, and open, two, three. See how wide my arms are away from my body? In, two, three. Push that way towards your shoulder and make a bicep, two, three. Push in towards you, and then out, two, three. Come on. This here is all you, isometric tension. One, two, three, pulse, out, two, three. Now make sure you're not moving the upper portion of your arm. You're just holding and moving from your elbow to your wrist. Pulse, two, three, maybe lower in the legs. Out, two, three. Three, just holding this should be work. In, two, three. Push, squeeze your bicep. Pulse, two, three. Breathe, out, two, three. Come on, hold here. In, two, three. If you ever need to change your weight, do it. I just don't want you to stop. Two, three, squeeze the heck out of that weight. Out, two, three. This is one of the only times where I want you to squeeze the weight. Pulse, 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 because it will further activate your bicep. 
three more like this. Two, three. Come on, hold and bring your elbow slightly up. Then pump it and out. Two more. Squeeze, two, three. Pump it, out. We've got one more like this. In, two, three. One, two, three. Squeeze, two, three. Out, two, three. Come down for a second. Roll the shoulders. Deep breath in, arms back into that same position. Come on, you're under tension here. And what we're doing from here is just lifting tiny isometric lifts. It's almost like a little circle to the midline. Midline, circle, circle. I just started pulsing my legs because it kind of goes. Eight, seven, come on. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Maybe release, maybe hold that. If you're super hardcore, don't take breaks. Come back up. Bring those elbows in so the inside of the weight or the inside of your hand is towards the shoulder. Bring it in and squeeze and lift your elbows up and up, up and up. You're squeezing your bicep and you're lifting your elbow in opposition to trying to get that dumbbell close to your shoulder. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, don't rest it, two, one, come down. Last little thing, and then I promise we're done with biceps. Shoulders roll down and back, come back into position. Hold that and feel the weight of this. We're gonna bring it in again. We're gonna bring the shoulders up and we're gonna squeeze it and hold it. Squeeze and hold. If you're not shaking, you're not squeezing enough. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Okay, guess what? We're doing triceps next. Maybe roll your shoulders. Maybe shake your arms to get some life back in. With the triceps, you've got a couple of options. You can just kind of stand upright, maybe bend a little bit here. We'll be hinging forward like this. Or if you want to be super mean to your body, like I'm going to be, come back into that Y plie, just because it's going to shake just being here, like right now. If you're wide and you feel that stretch and you're pushing your hips slightly forward, that burn is real. So I'll turn to the side so you can see a little bit better. We're just going to hinge with a flat back and a nice long extended neck. Your elbows are going to come past your back. It needs to stay there. Don't let them drop. And from here, we're just moving once again from the elbow to the wrist. Extend and in. Extend and in. So I'm in this position and I'm slightly hinged forward now. So my legs are feeling it slightly differently. Adjust, adjust, extend and in, extend and in. And don't come all the way into your shoulders. It's mainly emphasis out. Four more like this, then we're gonna start our reps. Three, two, one. Now we're gonna go up for three. One, two, three. We're gonna hold two, three. We're going to straight arm pulse, two, three. Then we're going to come in, two, three. Just come to your hips, back, two, three. We're going to hold, two, three. Pulse straight arms up and then back, two, three. Come on, your arms are close by your rib cage. Hold, two, three. Up, two, three down, two, three. Keep your shoulders away from your ears. Hold and breathe. Straight arms up, back in, in. One, two, three. Hold, two, three. You can do this without weights. In, in, in. If you need to be more upright like this, you can do that if it's just uncomfortable for you to lean forward. Back, two, three, but then you have to lift your arms further. One, two, three. I think my count was a bit off then. Hold, two, three. Straight arm, two, three. In, two, three. Come on. This is burning. Up, two, three. One, two, three. 
down, two, three. How about three more? One, two, three. Hold, two, three. Up, two, three. In, two, three. Two more. If you need a break, just shake it out. One, two, three. Up, two, three. In, two, three. This is the last set like this. Two, three. Hold. Up, two, three. In, two, three. Shake your arms. We're not done, sorry. Okay, stay low. We're just doing a few more of those isometric holds and pulses. So start in the same position, come up and just pulse. Just pulse. Tiny pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Shake it. Last thing, come back into position. Come low in your legs if you're with me. Extend your arms and hold. Isometric hold. Squeeze the top of your arms. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Yes. Drop your weights. Now, this next one, we're going to put our loop above our knees and we're going to do some abs. Um, you don't have to use the loop and you don't have to use the elevation. I'm going to sit on my elevation just because it gives me extra range of motion. So I'm just going to turn so you can see a little bit better. I want you to sit on the edge of your mat. Sit on the edge of your mat. Deep breath in and then C curve your body. Okay, so you want to be having your chest slightly forward, your belly button pulled in and having a rounded back here. You just got your hands on the side or you can have it further back. And we're going to, again, separate our feet so there's tension on the loop. And all we're going to do is start lifting our legs. Now I'm lifting the shape of my legs and they're bent and I'm trying to bring my chest slightly forward as my knees come in. Now, blow all the air out as those knees come towards your shoulders. Two more like this. Last one, now we're gonna start those reps and it's gonna add up quick, so if you need to, go onto the floor, go onto the floor, okay? It's in, two, three. Bring your shoulders forward. Hold, two, three. Then I want you to pulse, two, three. Then I want you to hold, two, three. Then I want you to come down, two, three. Tap it, back up, two, three. Hold, pulse, hold again, and down, two, three. Now if you want to, one, two, three, hold. Pulse, hold, and down. My legs are shaking already. Up, two, three, hold. Pulse, hold. You're really contracted, okay? When you're doing those holds, you're bringing your knee in as close as you can. Pulse, hold and down oh my goodness again two three hold pulse do you want to extend on the way down and then bend in hold pulse if you need to put your hands down down two three bring it back in two three hold Pulse, hold, down, two, three. Come on, in, two, three. Bring it in. Pulse, I know this is mean. Hold, shaking, shaking. Down, two, three, three more. In, two, three. Hold, get your legs up. Pulse it in. Hold. Down, two, three, bring it in. This is the last one. Breathe. Oh my goodness. One, two, three. Hip flexor death, right? Hold. Come down. And that's it for a second. Deep breath in. Come back into position. We're going to come back up. 
and we're just going to pulse it. Now I'm going to try and pulse it with my legs straight. Yes, I think I might be crazy. Come in, if you're with me, extend your legs and pulse it in, maybe, maybe. Come on, my legs are shaking. Eight, seven, six, five, four. If you need to hold on, two, one, slowly down. Release, we've just got to hold. And then we're done with this. Deep breath in, come on. Really get that C curve, bring your legs up. Maybe light tap here and hold. Separate those legs, maybe hands off. Eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one, slowly down. You're finished. There's not two sets of abs. Are you happy? Or maybe sad? Okay, we're gonna stretch this out. I'm not even gonna get off the step for the first one. Just extend your leg and come down. You can walk this leg out to the side. So just keep this leg super straight. Don't round, just kind of bring your chest forward. Maybe point and flex here. That feels so good. Oh. And then other side, same thing. So walk your foot to the side. Maybe point and flex. And then bring this leg across and make sure that it's nicely aligned and just push up out of your spine to keep it really nice and straight. And if you're not feeling this enough, intensify by leaning forward. I can't even do that right now. To be honest, like my butt cheek is burning from this stretch, so I'm just happy here. Ah. Such a good stretch. Hip opening for outer thighs, for inner thighs. So really push your knee away from you and push this side of your foot into that opposite knee. That will increase the intensity of the stretch. And if you want to lean forward, you can be my guest. We're going to stretch our inner thighs. If you want to use the step, you can. Just put your foot in the center of the step and the other leg is kneeling and then come down as low as you want. You can even sit onto your other heel. Just make sure your toes are facing the front and your knee is trying to stay to the front so you feel the inner, inner thigh stretch here, okay? You can come down as low as you want. As long as you feel that stretch, it doesn't have to be super low. And you can also do this on the ground You'll feel it this way as well. Nice job, and I'm just gonna switch to the other side. So leg in the middle. And then just come down to your low point. Maybe you're sitting all the way down onto your heel. Those plie squats work those inner thighs so good. Plie squats are an awesome way to work inner thighs as long as you follow those form pointers of really pushing your hips forward and pushing your knees to the back. That's what gets in there so good. Now just bring your knee in and we're going to lean a little bit of weight on the front here, keeping our foot flat on the mat, stretching our calves a little bit. And then other leg, slightly leaning forward. And of course, Minnie the cat set through it all, as she usually does, unless she's terrorizing some of my props, as you, have, as you have seen in some of my videos. Okay, we're just gonna sit cross-legged, interlace your fingers and just push up overhead, and then turn your palms up to the ceiling and really push. And then just lean to the side, lean to the side. Oh, that feels so good. Side to side. Then push out to the side and then come behind and interlace again and push your chest forward and your arms up at the back. 
This is a really great stretch for those biceps as well as the front of the chest and shoulders. And then for triceps, just reach down your back and pull that elbow down and then just lean into that. And other hand. And then we just want to release through our lower back and our abs. So just come into an all fours position and round through that spine. Inhale and just arch through the back. And again, blow all the air out and round through the spine. And then child's pose, separate your knees. Push your shoulders down to the mat, walk your fingertips out. And that is it. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed those micro ISO movements. They definitely feel a bit torturous at the time, but you feel a, such a sense of accomplishment once you've completed it. And each time you do it, it'll get a little bit easier. But don't get discouraged. If you found that this first time was just not doable for you, then take those modifications. Maybe don't use the loop. Maybe don't use the elevation. Maybe just take micro breaks. There's no shame in that. Everyone has to start somewhere. And these are advanced workouts. Thanks for watching. See you soon.